guys welcome back to my channel um, we are back at Witch's Hollow Road I'm getting here just as it's getting dark um, I don't plan on being here for too long but I wanted to check out and see uh, what we can explore tonight so let's get into it <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going a different way than, oh, this is not a trail. I thought this was a trail, but maybe it's not. Oh my god, guys, I should have just gone the other way. This is not, I thought there was like a trail here, but it doesn't look like there really is. Ugh, I can't see now, because I have the flashlight in my eye. Let's just go the other way that we normally go, because this is, now I literally can't see <laughs> because of my light being in my eye. Right, I'm going to turn my light down for one second until we get into the woods over there. But yeah, guys, this is the field here, and then the woods are over on this side. So let's go real quick. I wanted to get here like right as it's getting dark so that we could see it a little bit better. Um, I've been here during the day, like bright, you know, brightness, and it's pretty cool, but I wanted to see what it was like at dusk. So let's go see real quick. in the woods are supposed to be. I don't see one. Don't not my circus. You were supposed to go this way. <laughs> it's just funny like walking over here because of the person's house right there. <laughs> Okay, let's turn my light up a little bit. Here we go. Um, so this is the abandoned part of the road once again. They're so cute. <laughs> they scared me at first. I was like, oh my god, what's that? But it's just deer. <laughs> okay. Here we are, guys. We are going into the hollow of Witch's Hollow. Yeah, I remember there's thorns there. <laughs> um. So let me turn my other light on too. So you guys can see a little bit better. Oh, I hear the deer over there. Oh, that's a big spider web. Look at those big ass thorns. <sighs> okay, guys. So, last time. I believe we went up over here. Um, let's see. Where should we go in? I want to go into the. You know what? I'm going to keep walking down the abandoned road part. So. The story of Witch's Hollow, part of the story is the witch that I mentioned in the last video, Charlotte Jacobs, was supposedly hung and buried in an unmarked grave in these woods after she cursed the other witches in her coven. Um, so, yeah, let's go this way and see. This is the area we were in last time, I believe. Let's go a little further today. So 
so yeah, Charlotte was supposedly hung and buried in these woods in an unmarked grave, which is really sad. Um, I don't know, guys. You get a very heavy feeling in these woods the minute you get here. Like, I don't know if you guys can feel it through the video, but I definitely feel it. smooth terrain here. <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Let's go down here. This is where I heard the wailing coming from last time. And also another time I was here at night, I don't think I was filming, I was taking pictures. And I heard like a really weird sound that was very loud come from these woods. Hello? Let's go this way a little bit. Just want to explore these woods a little bit more than we did last time. And in a minute I'll do a necrophonic session. There's like something reflecting down there. I want to see what it is. I think it's one of these tree markers. Um, because there are trails to walk here, like county park trails. I believe it's the county park, at least. Um. Let's see what's down here. Oh, guys. Getting that heavy feeling again. Charlotte, are you here with us? Remember guys, it is October and the veil is almost a f another full moon and almost Halloween. Uh, the veil is very, very thin, which is why I wanted to come here. I might come back here on Halloween night too. Possibly, we'll see. I want to do some kind of video that night. I'm just not sure where yet. Charlotte? I don't want to walk too, too far into the woods. Because if I have to run from something, <laughs> I don't want to have to run too, too far. Hopefully it won't come to that, but I'm just going to continue walking down this for a minute. Yeah, I think we'll do a spirit box session out here. It's kind of creepy looking in there. Look at all those, like, I don't know, it just looks weird over there whole area over here is pretty creepy. This is much creepier than like up where we were in the beginning. Like, look at that. Check it out guys. This is definitely 
definitely a creepy area. All right. Wow, my heart is all of a sudden like pounding. And I'm like really hot, like I'm burning up. And it's pretty cold out tonight. Like it's not freezing out, but it's pretty cold. heard something, not the birds. I thought I heard something else. So let's do a spirit box session. Um, get Necrophonic up and running. Ready guys? I just heard witch. Hello? Charlotte Jacobs, are you here? Was Charlotte Jacob really hung in these woods? Charlotte, were you buried in an unmarked grave out here? I think I just heard the witch. Yes, the witch that was buried out here. Where is she buried? Camera angle, real quick. Hello. Where is Charlotte buried? Did she really curse the other witches in her coven? Why did she curse them? Sorry, this is really heavy. Um. Has her grave ever been found? Charlotte, are you here? Oh. 
I thought I just heard something out there, guys. I'm gonna shut the spirit box off for a second. I swear I just heard something like out in these woods. Besides the birds that are flying, I think that's geese. But it wasn't that noise, it was something else. Like I don't even know what it was, but I just heard like a weird noise. It's coming from like down this way, I think. My heart is pounding. Charlotte. Let's turn the sphere box on again for a second. Uh, I keep getting like acid reflux and I don't get acid reflux. Uh. Who made that noise? I think I just heard run. Did you say to run? here with me. Oh. Can you tell me your name? Why is this road in these woods so cu cursed? Which is still practicing in these woods. Where was Charlotte hung from? Is she really buried in these woods?
just heard my name, my full name, like Kristen. Did you say my name? Am I in danger here? I swear, I just felt like a... Hold on, guys, what the hell? I swear, I just felt like something like brushed up against my hair. Like if it went like that, like just play with my hair for one second. Like I don't know if something like... I mean, I don't know, that was just weird. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm sitting here editing this video right now, and, hold on, um, while I'm listening to this spirit box session, like, this might sound crazy, but I'm intuitively getting that there might be, like, missing people buried in these woods that have never been found, because I have never heard, like, an actual conversation like that through a spirit box session like I don't know I'd love to get your guys opinions on this but like that's just what's intuitively coming to me and now I really like want to I think I'm gonna definitely go back maybe tomorrow and do another session there asking questions pertaining to that because like, I keep getting these images in my mind, like, my mind's eye about this, and it's really bothering me. Like, that was one of the most intense spirit box sessions I've ever listened to, um, that I've ever recorded and that I've ever really heard. Um, I'd love to get your opinions on it, but this is, like, I don't know. I just wanted to include this because I would like to get your thoughts on this. But this is just like crazy. I, I don't know guys. Just let me know what you think. Thank you for hearing me out. And now back to the video. Enjoy the rest. That took me by surprise guys. Like what? <laughs> I swear I just heard like a laugh. Alright guys, um, we're going to start heading back this way. I also can't like see now because again, like my lights just, you know, like when the flash is in your eyes and then you can't see for a few minutes, like clearly. That's what my light just did to me, like, and I really can't see that well right now. Because these lights are very bright that I have on my camera tripod. So I have like two huge spots in my eyes and I really can't see very well. I'm gonna go back up towards the top and then we're just gonna sit there for a minute and see like if we hear anything without the spirit box on or anything like that. Just as a little experiment. Ooh guys, you can see the moon through the trees. It's almost a full moon. That actually looks really cool. I kind of want to take a picture with my phone. Hang on, guys, one second. My heart is pounding, and I'm like short of breath right now. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple pictures with my phone with the flash on. Let's see if anything shows up. Hold on. Let's 
try this. Last time I was here and I did this with my camera, I got all kinds of orbs and everything. I don't know if it'll happen again, but let's try it. I'm actually going to try to take a couple pictures with my camera here, real quick. And then I'll come back to the video. Hold on one second, guys. If I capture anything cool, I'll include it in the video. Alright, we're back, guys. Let me turn my light back up. Oh, shit, I just turned it off instead. Alright, let's see. I want to start walking up back towards the road part and walk a little more down the abandoned part of the road. I just wanted to see what we're back in this wooded area back here because I never came back here before. I've been on the other side of the road where it's more woods over there, but I've never been on this side before. So I figured I'd take you guys on a little adventure into the woods here. But yeah, that's so weird, guys. Like, I really felt something, like, brush up against my hair. Like, almost as if, like, somebody, you know how, like, if somebody goes to play with your hair. But it only happened for, like, one second. But it, like, took me by surprise. Because I was not expecting that. And I don't think it was the wind or anything, because it wasn't really windy. It's very still back here. So, I don't know guys, it was interesting. I'm not saying it was definitely paranormal, but... What the hell? Oh, okay, that's a car on the road making that noise. I was like, what the hell is that? <sighs> Alright, let's go back up towards the abandoned part of the road. The moon looks so cool through the trees here. It just got really super dark here. Like, it got dark really, really fast. I've only been here for what, like, maybe half an hour, if even. I mean, it was starting to get dark, but it was still pretty light out when I got here. And now it's like completely dark. I wish you guys could hear my heartbeat right now, like, it's so, pounding so hard. It's like pounding in my ears. I'm like still short of breath back here. I hope that's what that is. Okay, we're coming up to the abandoned part of the road again. Let's just go down a little bit further.
guys. I think I'm gonna start heading back. Maybe I'll go a little further down here. Just a little bit. I can't stay too long because I have to get home soon, but I wanted to get a video filmed for you guys for today. I will be putting this up the same night. So this will be up in a couple hours. Um, I'll be editing it as soon as I get home. Alright guys, um, hang on a minute. I'm going to take a couple more. Pictures real quick, I think. I mean, that's a deer. Let's see a deer. What the fuck was that? Hello? see a deer or anything. What the hell? Okay, that was creepy. That's happened to me before. I've heard like phantom footsteps in the woods before. I swear I just saw like a mist fly over my head. That was weird. Like a small mist, it just flew over my head. Alright guys, I can know. Let's just go a little bit further. I always feel like something's trying to like lure me into the woods here. Every time I'm like ready to leave, I feel like something is like, no, I'll come further into the woods. <laughs> I don't know if you guys get that sense too. Yeah, I literally see nothing around here. There's no deer around here or anything. And those footstep sounds came from like close by. It wasn't like deep in the woods. It was like right near me. That's not good. There's like power lines down here. What the hell? I'm guessing those are no longer active power lines. That's weird. You guys see that? to invest in hiking boots. I'm always wearing sneakers to do this stuff and it's like not helpful at all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's 
weird that there's like this down power line. I don't really want to go too close to it. Um, just because I don't know whether it's still at all active or whatnot. Is that an old bottle or like a new? That's the only one. Like a newer classic bottle. I'm by myself. I don't know what the hell that was. It might have been a bat. I don't know, but it seemed too close to the like ground to be a bat. My heart is pounding on my so Let's get out of here. Here. <sighs> Sorry for the quick turnarounds, guys, but I keep feeling like something's behind me. I need to keep my camera in front of me because I can't see. So, so let me bring an extra flashlight. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. I don't like this. do this to myself, you guys. It's always when I'm alone. Okay. Like, Chris isn't here. She's in California. So I'm basically like alone out here. I would love to bring her here with me. When she comes back, I definitely will. For sure. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys appreciate me doing this stuff because I do go out here alone. And I've seen a lot of you comment, like, I would never go out there alone, like, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I love doing this. And I love doing it for you guys, too, so. Um, um, we are going to get out of here right now. Like, I'm not feeling good at all. I'm getting a bad vibe once again, so we're getting the out of here. <laughs> Literally every time I'm here, like something weird happens. Now I'm blinded again by those stupid lights on the camera. Alright guys, I'm gonna head back to the car and get the F out of here. Hello? What the fuck was that? Alright guys, let's go. Let's get out of here now. I'm not liking this. I think like some things trying to like come after me and I don't like it. I don't want to run because I have stuff in my pocket. I'm going to be able to fall out. I'm going to rest in that one so I'm just going to burst the walk. That happened to me on Cooper Road. I did not bridge. I don't know if you guys remember. I was with Chris and we had to run because somebody was coming into the car. My phone flew out of the tripod. I had to run back and get it. And then I even had to go back the next day because my S-Pen from my phone 
had flown out of my phone and I didn't know it until I got home. So I literally had to go back there the next day to go get my S Pen. So I learned my lesson on running away. Because something, I always either lose something or something stupid happens. So we're gonna brisk walk out of here. <laughs> um, plus, it's not very easy to run back here. <laughs> And I will break my neck because the ground is really like slippery right now. So yeah, let's go back and go home. Almost there. Kind of. Guys. Okay, thank God we're back. That was weird. I don't know what the hell that was, but I was not getting good vibes from it, whatever the hell was making that noise. You can see the moon here, it's almost full. It's almost Halloween, guys. All right. I'll catch you guys later. I'm gonna get out of here.